Hello everyone, Mr. Merkid here and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a stressor. Now this video is for educational purposes only. It's not a real stressor, uh, I'm just showing you how to create one. The API that I'm going to be showing you the example with is not working, it's just a made up one. But if you want this to work yourself, you're going to need to purchase an API, uh, replace it with the one I'll show you with and it will be fully working. But I'm just going to be showing you how to set it up with a free one so if you're coming expecting a working stressor that's not what it is so you may as well click off the video now but if you still want to learn how to set one up then carry on watching uh, let's get into it so basically I'm just gonna grab a group box really quick uh, and inside here is where we're just gonna be using uh, where we're gonna be using the input for the stressor so what we're gonna be needing is a couple of text boxes we'll need one here for the IP, uh, we'll grab another one for the port, uh, we'll grab one more for the method, so UDP, all that sort of stuff, and we'll grab another one for the time, how long we want to send the attack, uh, let's that, and we'll grab a button, and we'll use this button to actually send the attack. I'll just rename this to send attack and this to stressor now you can use labels to just let people know what each text box requires uh, but I'll just leave that for now uh, so if we double click on send attack uh, inside here is where we're going to use the code now if you remember or if you've been watching the series up to now you'll know about the resolver uh, we're going to be using the sort of the same thing as that. So what we're going to do is dim, uh, we'll just say web as new system dot net dot web client, and then we're going to do uh, web dot download string. Uh, and inside here I've got this made up API here this is when you buy one this is sort of what you'll get so you've got like the, each one of these is what we need to type in the text boxes uh, obviously the key they'll send you that but uh, some services may be different you may not get the option for method um, but most you do pretty standardly so we'll copy that domain um, oops, I clicked on the wrong thing. Uh, we'll paste that in. So now we're in here, we need to sort this out. Uh, and I done this wrong. Dim result. No. That's if we want to explain something, which we are. Uh, so we're going to keep that we need to, to use the result thing actually no, sod that the way I'm going to show you we're not going to bother with that let's take that away so inside here uh, we just want to grab the numbers of this, so we've got 23, 24, 25 and 26 so the host is 23 so after the equals we want to put another speech mark here and we want to do plus plus and inside here we need text box 23.txt now you can get easily confused by doing this but if you just think about it it's pretty straightforward so after the next equals which is the port uh, after the equals we want another two and inside here plus and a plus and we want text box 24 Dot text, and we're going to do the same thing for method and time. So another two speech marks plus plus, and now it's text box twenty five. Dot text. So you'll you'll know we've did this we've done this before, so you should sort of know what we're doing. Um,
and the last one text box 26 dot text and we do not need two of these at the end maybe we do uh, so let me just double check this Uh, so yeah that should no we do not need this final plus actually we can take one of them away nope maybe we did so yeah basically each text box 24 is here so that, uh, no sorry 23 which is be the host. Now, whatever we type in here will fill in this part of the link. So between this speech mark and this speech mark, uh, so it will fill in the host. If you you should understand what this is doing. Now, so when we press send attack, it's going to be downloading this. But you need to replace your domain here and then your key, which probably be some random letters and numbers like that uh, so yeah that's it really it's pretty straightforward um, it's nothing special but I got asked a lot about it so I thought you know what I'll just show you we've already did it before so if you use your brain you could have did it yourself but you know some people they still don't have a clue so I might as well show you how to do it so if you did enjoy the video please leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time